In this video, we will be synthesizing potassium trioxalatoferrate 3 trihydrate, a beautifully crystalline green compound. This synthesis is often used as a demo in teaching laboratories in high school. Without further ado, let's get into the chemistry. In terms of chemicals, you'll need potassium hydroxide, anhydrous ferric chloride, and oxalic acid dihydrate. Oxalic acid dihydrate is available over the counter as wood bleach. Also, you may use hydrated ferric chloride if you wish, but the molar amounts will be different. First, two solutions are prepared. One of 42.86 grams of potassium hydroxide flakes in 200 milliliters of distilled water, and another of 20 grams of anhydrous ferric chloride in 50 milliliters of distilled water. Dissolution of both these salts is exothermic. Potassium hydroxide solution, 48.22 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate is added with stirring. A microwave is needed to help dissolve everything. Once everything is dissolved, the ferric chloride is added and the beaker is rinsed with a little water. This forms a green solution of potassium ferrioxalate almost immediately. Not all of the oxalic acid added earlier dissolved. This ended up being okay because there was none in my product. The solution is chilled in a fridge overnight with foil on top and around it to protect it from light. Crystals of potassium ferrioxalate form. Brace yourself, because this next part's a bit emotional. The potassium ferrioxalate crystals are broken up, filtered, and washed with water. Finally, the potassium ferrioxalate crystals are dried in this electric heater. We obtain 50.95 grams of light green trihydrate crystals, or about 84% yield. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe.